All right, so I know usually I do my after workout one mile run on the treadmill, but because it's my last day in the Virginia Beach area for a minute, I thought I'd come run on the beach. The sun's not even coming up yet. It's just dark over the water. A little chilly. I probably should have worn a jacket. Uh, but you start to see the color starting to come. So maybe by the time I'm done, it'll be a cool picture. Um, again, it's a little chillier than it's been the rest of the week. So there's not very many people out. Um, but obviously, uh, the weather scares away the unaccountable, right? So keep it up. See you in a few. All right, ladies, gentlemen, uh, welcome back to the Accountability Project. So, um, today is my last day in Virginia Beach, um, so I'm actually kind of packing up. Um, but I wanted to make sure I get this video out before I forget because I, I don't want to be the unaccountable person just because I'm traveling. So, I still get things done even when I'm moving. Um, so, today, Secret Science of Success, excuse me. Um, the topic was about uh, 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 your your spiritual viewpoint, your spiritual mindset, and and your spiritual outlook, and how that affects not just business but your life in general. And um, talked about um, not not sending good money after bad, meaning not not trying to get revenge. Um, kind of talking about the principle of forgiveness that if someone wrongs you, understand that. Um, most people aren't wronging you in business out of malice or hurt. Oftentimes, I'd say 80 to 90% are just misunderstandings where, where someone's feelings got hurt and they reacted instead of actual having a, a malice intention of creating strife. Um, now, there are a couple people that, that just need some drama in their life, um, but that's not the, the vast majority. Um, and then, then taking on... The, the mindset that, you know, um, if, if you're not able to forgive someone, um, that actually damages you. Because um, forgiveness not only frees the person who, who has committed the wrong, but, but it emotionally and mentally will free the person who is doing the forgiving from the, the mental anguish of constantly reliving that. Um, it's a lot of energy that can be wasted on unforgiveness. So I highly encourage you to forgive quickly. Um, not necessarily that you forget and re-enter uh, a, a relationship or a situation that could be dangerous or harmful to you, um, but that you don't hold the grudge about it. You just let it go and, and, and give it to God or give it to whatever faith you hold. Um, but I, I believe most uh, faiths have some form of forgiveness, um, some form of grace and mercy. And, and the beautiful part about that is that it's not supposed to be earned. If it's earned, it's not forgiveness. So a lot of people feel like they, they can't forgive someone because they haven't earned that yet, or they don't, they don't qualify for forgiveness because they haven't done something yet. Forgiveness is, is more about you than it is about them. Um, it's, it's that inside out ap uh, approach to life. So um, next up, don't eat the marshmallow yet. All right, now I used to be a marshmallow eater. I'm, I'm just gonna I'm blatant. I used to be a marshmallow eater. I didn't save anything. Um, didn't set anything aside. So this chapter is a, a, a little bit longer than the other chapters that are in this book. However, it has some great, great points. One of which is the concept of not just saving, um, but what he calls the 30 second rule and, and leveraging the 30 second rule and that is that every time you get around someone, um, your personality is going to have someone um, have their, their first impression about you. So you, you've only got about 30 seconds when you make initial contact with someone before they determine whether or not they like you. And the reason that is important is because how they view you after those 30 seconds is everything. All right, because everything's in the eyes of the beholder, right? So if someone likes you and you bounce around and you jump and you've got all this energy and you're, you're, hey, hey, and you're very dramatic, 
if they like you because of the way they connected in the first 30 seconds, they will see that as enthusiasm, as a good thing. Now, if they don't like you, they'll see that as salesy and over the top and just flamboyant and man, what's he on? And, and they, so the same situation, different people will have a different perspective of and, and based on whether or not they like you, depends on kind of the, we, we've heard the term of rose colored glasses, the, the, the I like you glasses or the I don't like you glasses is gonna shade everything they know about you. So those first 30 seconds are crucial. Um, so developing uh, your interpersonal skills. They, they say about 20% um, of your success in life is gonna be based on skills, knowledge, and abilities. 80% is gonna be based on your ability to connect with people, work with people, and communicate with people in a positive way. So if 80% of your financial success and personal success is gonna be based on people skills, why don't we teach them in school? I don't know, I don't know, but that's why we're here. That's why we're here reading these books. Um, one of the other things that, that uh, comes up in this book is they, he talks about, Mr. Pete was telling him for years that, that he needed to get involved in some sort of personal development program, uh, whether that was listening to positive audios or CDs or cassettes or reading, constantly reading books and, and attending seminars to, to, to get around a positive association that's uplifting and motivational and, and, and wants to see you succeed at whatever you're trying to succeed at. Um, because if you don't have that environment and all you have is negative and negative and people who are telling you you can't com can't do something and you end up in your head with a dialogue of, can I really do this? I know I want to, but just because I want to, that doesn't mean I can. Um, and, and so getting around a positive association and developing a habit around listening to motivational speakers, listening to to, to books on tape or reading books. I, I believe in, in, in reading a book because there's certain power to the to the, the, the turning of the page. Um, now, it, it push comes to shove, I will read a digital book. I will listen to a book on, on tape. Um, but I prefer reading an actual book every day. Um, and, and taking the time to invest in your future through personal development, through reading books on social skills, uh, interpersonal skills, uh, success principles, um, like we're doing through here. Um, in areas that you're trying to improve, like family and faith and fitness, um, all of those areas have books, audios, um, and, and communities that you can join and be a part of um, that will help you move towards your goals. And hopefully this is going to turn into one of those communities that you can plug into. Um, so with that, I got to finish packing up and check out. But you guys stay accountable. We love you. We appreciate you. And uh, condense the pain of growth. Bloop.